Are you ready to dive into the world of Wu Network where centralized and decentralized exchanges unite to offer you unprecedented opportunities in crypto trading? Let's begin! The Wu Network, also known by the market ticker Wu, offers both a centralized and decentralized exchange that specializes in arbitrage and high-frequency trading. The Wu Network looks to bridge the gap between centralized and decentralized exchanges by offering a centralized exchange experience to decentralized users. More specifically, it aims to provide centralized exchange levels of liquidity to its decentralized exchange. This enables DeFi traders to maximize their profits through the lowest swap fee and minimal slippage. That said, it also brings a centralized exchange as well, one which focuses on high liquidity, low fees and providing you with all the trading tools to make the most efficient trades possible. So how does this all work? Keep watching because by the end of this video you will know what Wu Network is, how Wu Network works and what the tokenomics of the Wu token are. The Wu Network was founded by Kronos Research in 2019. Kronos Research is a Taipei-based cryptocurrency trading, market maker and venture investment firm that was formed in 2018 by Jack and Mark. The Wu Network offers a range of centralized and decentralized services but is composed of two main parts, WuX and WuFi. WuX is the centralized exchange providing high liquidity with a powerful user interface allowing you to get deeper into the technical analytics. WuX is the flagship centralized product built on Wu Network. It comes with a live transparency dashboard showing real-time proof of reserves and liabilities, giving the user more control over the risk and responsibilities. WuX also features an analytics dashboard that lets users compare the cost of trading on any of the major centralized exchanges such as Binance or Coinbase. Then, on the other hand, we have WuFi, the Wu Network's decentralized exchange. To be more specific, WuFi is a multi-chain decentralized application that focuses on these main components. First is cross-chain functionality, which allows users to move major assets quickly and seamlessly across 10 supported chains. This includes the likes of Ethereum, Arbitrum, Polygon, Avalanche, Phantom and more. Second is a high revenue share, offering up to 80% of all swap fees for those who stake their Wu tokens to support and strengthen the network. Third, by lending your assets to WuFi's liquidity manager, you can also earn additional yields. Lastly, through trading perpetual futures with an order book, WuFi users can enjoy the CFI trading experience while maintaining self-custody of their assets. But this leads us to the question, how does it all work? Let's start with WuX. WuX, the centralized crypto exchange, was launched in 2021 and was the first crypto exchange to use Payment for Order Flow or PFOF, a compensation model that rewards brokers for forwarding orders to different market participants for trade execution. This clears the orders quicker and provides a faster, higher quality experience to the end user. This is especially important to the institutional investors that Wu Network looks to cater to. This is also where Wu Trade comes in, the WuX's dark pool trading platform for institutional clients. Dark pool just means not public and allows for institutional investors to invest without immediately revealing their strategy to their competitors or the public. To make sure it can always serve these high value clients, WuX ensures its high liquidity by participating with multiple market makers, such as their parent company Kronos Research, when funds are required. Alternatively, when we look at WuFi, the decentralized exchange, we can see it is a proof-of-stake based platform that uses a synthetic proactive market maker or SPMM algorithm model. But what does this mean? I have been over proof-of-stake many times before. But to give a quick recap, Proof of Stake is a competitor to Bitcoin's more famous 
proof-of-work consensus mechanism. The main difference is instead of making all network participants compete to solve a complex mathematical puzzle to validate a block of transactions and add it to the blockchain under the proof of stake, a validator and some verifiers are selected semi-randomly based on how much they have staked, meaning deposited, to the system. The benefits are, it is much more scalable than Proof-of-Work, which is something essential for a platform like WooNetwork that looks to serve those who rely on multiple orders being delivered immediately. Next, a Synthetic Proactive Market Maker or SPMM is a decentralized finance protocol that automates market making on a blockchain similar to regular automated market makers or AMMs. Automated market makers is a complex topic in the cryptocurrency space, which I will cover in a future video, so definitely make sure to subscribe to see that. The proactive aspect refers to its ability to dynamically adjust the liquidity pool's asset ratios based on market conditions, which helps maintain stable prices and minimizes slippage for traders. Now that we know what Woo Network is and how it works, let's find out what makes Woo Network unique. Bridging the gap between centralized and decentralized exchanges, at least in terms of user experience, is the unique selling point of this network. Although its unique selling feature is its clever way of ensuring liquidity, which is achieved by aggregating market depth from larger exchanges and setting up an open liquidity pool with participation from multiple market makers, including its parent company, Kronos Research. By utilizing the reserves of larger companies, one network can more reliably ensure their orders will always be met. But how about the tokenomics? The native token of the Woo Network is the Woo Token and launched with a total supply of 3 billion tokens. Woo is a BEP20 token, which is a form of token standardization blueprint that ensures compatibility with the Binance Smart Chain, similar to what the ERC20 tokens are for the Ethereum network. Of that 3 billion total, around 25% have been burned, meaning destroyed. Of the 2.2 billion remaining, around 77% is in circulation. This 77% is split 50% between the active circulation and 27% stored away as ecosystem rewards. Of the other 23% not in circulation, 9% will be distributed to the team and advisors, 2% will be released to Series A investors, and 12% towards future teams and investors. Who Network is thinking big. It wants high-value clients who make lots of moves in the market. To achieve that, it offers them everything it can to make their platform more appealing. Want a centralized exchange with pro-level analytical tools and with all the protections that come with centralized regulations? Who Network can offer you that. Prefer a decentralized marketplace with low fees and deep pockets where you can still control your assets personally? Woo Network has got you there too. By offering low fees and promising high liquidity, it seems likely that when the crypto markets hit again, a platform like Woo Network will see an increase in activity and interest. Though, as always, nothing is ever guaranteed in crypto, of course. Thanks for watching. If you like the video on Woo Network, don't forget to hit the like button and click here to watch the video about Curve Finance where I cover automated market makers in more depth.